my name is Maria Joes. I'm a 16 year old artist and today I'll be teaching you how to paint a butterfly. I'll be using oil paints, but if you don't have that at home, then definitely experiment with uh, different types of mediums like watercolors or acrylics. The same techniques and methods apply. Uh, the outcome might be a little bit different because it is a different medium, so how it's going to look in the end is going to be slightly different from uh, the painting I'm going to do, but hey, experiment and see how it turns out. So the colors I'm using are Cadamon Orange Hue, and this is a really nice base color, especially if you're doing Monarch, because it's a vibrant orange, and it'll really stand out. Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Red Deep Hue, Titanium White, and this will be our highlight color. Ivory Black for the body of the butterfly. So these are all the colors I'll be using to paint this monarch butterfly, but you could use whatever color you want. You can make a blue butterfly or a yellow butterfly, it's really up to you. Well, you want to start out by planning how you want your painting to be, so sketch out your drawing. This is something I like to do, so I have an idea of what I'm actually going to do before I paint and actually put something on the canvas because it helps me plan things out. Once you're done, take your black paint and start with the body of the butterfly. Try your best to outline the lines that you've already drawn, but it does not have to be perfect. You can always come back and think, fix things up and redefine the lines. I'm going to start off with the lighter color first because it's much easier to blend and shade uh, the rest of the butterfly with the darker tones like the oranges and the reds. So the first layer it is difficult to have a crisp edge so you want to try to fill in the gaps that you have but later on when you add other layers and the darker colors too, it's going to look much better and you can also go back with the black paint and fix up the lines. Once you're done with the first layer of yellow paint, go in with your orange and fill in the darker spots of the butterfly. Don't be too focused on trying to shade everything really nicely together, this is just your first couple of layers and you can start working in some other colors and bringing more depth into the picture. Now that I have a basic shape and form to the butterfly, I am going on to the white parts of the wings. Try to fill in those gaps as best as you can and get in those little tiny spots. Now highlighting the butterfly. This is kind of what gives the butterfly a pop. So you want to take some white paint and just dab some on the tips of the little spots on the wings. And blend it towards the inside. So try and have a gradual change between the darker colors and this lighter highlighting color. To give your butterfly more depth, use a darker color and shade it towards the outside of the butterfly. So start on the inside corners and blend that nicely into the rest of the wing. Now I'm just taking the orange color and blending that with the darker red that I have and the yellow. 
this just helps bring the two colors together and the shading also makes the butterfly look more realistic. I went in with some more white paint to redefine those edges, make it look a lot more sharper, make sure that um, it's nicely blended. Just highlighting the ends of the butterfly. Now shading is probably the most important aspect in bringing this butterfly to life. You want to try your best to blend the colors together and don't make one spot look patchy. And it also might help to use a different brush, so a brush that doesn't have paint on it and work at it and use light feathery strokes. and just lightly blend the colors together. Going back with my black, uh, just fixing up little spots and those edges right there, making those crisp and nice. Final few touches, just adding a bit more white spots and make sure that you don't make these symmetrical. You want to make some a little bit smaller, some a little bit bigger. And anywhere that you feel that needs a little bit touch up or you need to blend it more, this is the point where you want to make everything look unified and shade everything together to give your butterfly a, a really realistic look. And I personally like to have one of the wings darker than the other. So typically it's the top wing. So as you can see, the top wing is more orange and the bottom, I'm adding it in, in a little bit more yellow. So it is a little bit lighter. And there you have it. Now you can do whatever background you want. I just shaded the surroundings of the butterfly with green. Hope you enjoyed this video and happy painting!